Imagine charging your electric car in just 10 minutes or even less. Grabbing a cup of coffee and hitting the road fully charged, that's a game changer for electric vehicles. More people would buy them. This is certainly one of the hindrances why people don't buy electric cars. But let's talk about BYD's insane new charging tech that's going to shake up the EV world. They're now claiming five minutes for 250 miles of charge. And that was as of March 31st, 2025. But here's a catch you won't hear anywhere else. Is this the future? or your hidden risks. I'll tell you more, but first I want to remind you to like this video and to subscribe to our channel to keep up with what's going on in the automotive world. People ask me all the time how I don't look my age. Well, here's one of my secrets. I've been using Native Path Krill Oil because these omega-3s are sourced from wild-caught krill. They absorb quickly, no fishy aftertaste, teeny small pill that's half the size of regular pills, and it has powerful antioxidants. I noticed a difference within a week. Reduced my joint pain, inflammation, skin aging, and improved my mental sharpness. And I've been taking this for months now and noticed a huge difference. Right now, you can get this at getkrill.com slash Lauren for a special 66% discount. That's getkrill.com slash Lauren. BYD is changing the game with its latest innovation. Ultra fast charging that's rewriting the electric vehicle rules. Now picture this, you plug in, you grab a cup of coffee, and in 10 minutes, your car is fully charged and ready to go. That's a dream, right? Well, BYD's Super E platform, which was unveiled in March of 2025, delivers 400 kilometers, which is about 250 miles of range, in five minutes, half the time we've imagined, and they're launching it in China first, this April. Now let's see how they're making this happen. How do you charge it fast? Power, 1,000 kilowatts, or one megawatt to be exact. That's double Tesla's latest superchargers, and BYD has a 1,000 volt system, silicone carbide power chips, and their Blade 2.0 battery, which is safe, efficient, and built to handle high speeds. They've cut the internal resistance by 50%, soaking up the megawatt charge without a hitch. That's what they're claiming, that two kilometers of range per second, so about 400 kilometers or 250 miles in five minutes, straight from BYD's founder. Now, Tesla's chargers are about 500 kilowatts, and that gets you about 200 miles of range in 15 minutes, or Mercedes CLA 200 in about 10 minutes. BYD is smoking them all. This is real for BYD's Han L sedan and the Tang L SUV, which will hit China in April of 2025, starting at $37,000, substantially less than what we're offering here or anywhere else in the world. China is really taking the electric vehicle business by storm, and they're backing it with 4,000 flash charger stations pumping 1,000 kilowatts across China. Wang, who's the CEO, said it's like gas stop, five to eight minutes, and there you've got your energy store units back up to charge, and it's grid ready and grid steady. Well, that's critical, he says, because one megawatt is no small amount. But does five minutes really deliver? BYD claims 400 kilometers, or about 250 miles, on China's CLTC test cycle. In the real world, they found that more like 160 to 200 miles, still awesome, but not quite 250 miles. Thanks to driving conditions, you need those 1,000 kilowatt chargers to which are rare across China, and grids elsewhere might need years to catch up, especially here in the U.S. So what about battery wear? BYD says it's fine, but some wonder if a megawatt blast could stress the long-term life of any battery. And there's no data yet, but we'll let you know as soon as we find out. Now here's something you won't hear much about, electromagnetic fields, or EMFs, from fast charging. That's a thousand kilowatt power creates a strong electromagnetic field around the car while it's charging up. Think about your phone. You don't sleep with it charging next to your head, right? Well, at least I hope you don't. And studies show that low EMF levels from phones is generally safe, but the jury's still out on high-powered electric vehicle chargers. But you're sitting on 2,000 cell phones, essentially, underneath a car. And while they're charging, you probably don't want to be in the car. And with BYD's megawatt system, it's way more intense than your average 50-kilowatt plug. There's no hard proof yet that says it's dangerous to be in these cars where they're charging. And research is very thin on this, maybe intentionally. Standards all across the world are checking electric vehicle charging and whether they're within safe limits. But 1,000 kilowatts? We don't have long-term data. My take? Don't sit in your car while it's charging, especially not with super fast chargers like this. Step out, go get a coffee, go stretch. Don't be anywhere near the vehicle and don't leave your kids or animals in the car either. Better safe than sorry until we know a lot more. And if there is a problem, you'll be smart that you weren't sitting in your car sleeping while it was at a fast charger 
or who knows whatever they're coming up with in the future. So why is this tech so huge? Well, charging is a huge roadblock for many who are thinking about owning electric vehicles or that currently own them. 30 minutes or even 15 isn't a gas stop. It's just too long for most people. But five minutes for 200 miles? That's a game changer. It wipes out range anxiety and charging anxiety. And in China, BYD is leading the charge with 1.8 million electric vehicles sold in 2024. That's 32% market share to Tesla's 6%. And they build vehicles there. If this goes global, it could be the tipping point for electric vehicles everywhere. They're affordable too. $37,000 for a BYD that charges this quick. We don't have electric vehicles here from China, although we'll see if that ever happens. They'd probably have to build them here. The tariffs would make them way too expensive. That's still a deal on a global basis. There is a flip side. 1,000 kilowatts needs a monster grid, and that's costly. Outside of China, stations might lag, and Tesla can only get 500 kilowatts out of their chargers. Zeker has a 10-minute charging technology, and Mercedes-Benz is very close. But competition is fierce, and there will be a lot of changes coming in the near future. What does this mean for your next car? In China, a $37,000 Han L charges in five minutes, plus 200 miles of range is nuts. Here in the U.S., 100% tariffs block BYD, but this technology is a wake-up call. If others hit 10-minute full charges or better, EVs could take over. I don't really see that happening, but plug in, step out, sip your coffee, and get back on the roads fully charged before the tires cool off. That's the future for BYD, and that's what they're pushing for. The rest of the world, we still have to watch to see if this actually works. Can our grid support that or other countries? We still don't know that. There's still a lot of variables. We'll be watching China because they like to set the pace on this electric vehicle technology. And if this technology comes to the U.S., would it make you consider buying an electric vehicle? Give us your thoughts down below. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out our car review channel, Car Smarts. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. And if you want even more content, check out the links in the description. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.